All right, so in this video, I am going to give you a comprehensive look at guilds, how to join a guild, what are the benefits of guilds, and how to create a guild. A lot of these things are changing as I speak. As I'm doing this video, things are changing. This is a brand new feature in the game, so a lot of features are being added or removed. So very, very important to understand this. But let's go right into it and let's get an overview of what guilds are all about and how to get involved. Make sure you guys like, make sure you guys comment, and make sure you guys subscribe. All right, so the first things first, you're gonna head over to the top right of your screen. Uh, you go to dashboard and it's gonna open the dashboard. So inside the dashboard, you're gonna head over to the left side and you're going to see guilds. As you can see, you're gonna see a list of many, many, many guilds. So the first thing is choosing the guild that you want to be part of. Now, this is going to take some research. Now, my guild right here is the Juice Team Guild. As you can see, if you guys wanna do some research, you would go right here to the Twitter page, boom, and you would see, okay, this is uh, Kagi Jan's guild. Okay, let me join the, the Discord. You know, and that's one of the main things that you have to do is you gotta check the vibe. You gotta check if this is something you want to be part of right sometimes the guild might offer a lot of things for you to be part of the guild but then the vibe kind of sucks not just because the guild might have a lot of assets a lot of lands or they're giving you some stuff some extra stuff you, not necessarily you want to be part of that right so you have to check the vibe that's the first thing so once you identify the vibe once you identify the features that the guild might have that may want to make you join the guild then you're going to the next step which is buying a shard for for the guild now the shards are basically memberships for the guild so as you can see the shard the memberships for my guild right now cost 407 pixels and that's not a price that i set this is the price that the market set so basically there is some speculation around the membership so you can buy multiple memberships and actually shoot up the price of a guild membership so as you can see down here you can see that people have bought even 10 memberships so they can maybe sell it or flip it later so there is some speculation to this so even if you buy a shard right now and you want to be part of my guild you might buy it at a certain price and the shard price might go down over time so there is a curve right as people buy more right the price goes up for the membership as people sell those memberships maybe to flip them or maybe because they don't want to be part of the guild or maybe they're they're just cashing out and they don't want to be part of pixels or whatever um then the price will go down so let me give you an example of a guild that might be cheaper so if i buy it will go up in price for example the grano and grano good friend of ours i actually bought a shard right here to support them so if i were to buy a shard right now boom it will go up in price so as of right now it's 172 so i'm gonna go ahead and put 172 right here and i'm going to buy it for 172 and there you go boom so i bought it for 172 if i were to refresh actually i don't even have to refresh now the price is 173 now when they open the ability to sell you're going to see that the sell price is going to be much less because there is a curve you don't get exactly the money exact the exact money back that you put in that's why you got to be careful if you're buying shards to speculate just know that when you're selling how the price goes down then you know the sell price is going to go down as well so you might lose money speculating on memberships so if you are not prepared to lose money in speculation on memberships then don't do it for speculation buy the shirt you need for the reasons that you think um make sense for you all right so let's get into some of the reasons why you might want to join a guild so one of the reasons is the amount of lands that some guilds have like we have right here 57 lands pledged to our guild this is good but it doesn't necessarily mean that the guild is more efficient it doesn't necessarily mean that the guild is better because it has more lands it doesn't necessarily mean that the guild is going to win because it has more lands if it has more lands that means that there's a lot more bureaucracy inside the guild it means that the guild is bigger it's harder to you know to get things done it doesn't necessarily mean that things are better sometimes it's even better to join guilds that are 
you know, that have less lands, that have less people and are cheaper to join as well. So that is why even the Jews team, even my guild right here, we might do a sub guild. So make it smaller. So we might divide guilds into two, right? So if we have 57 lands pledged right now, we might go ahead and do a second guild and make two guilds of 30 lands so that those guilds are self-sufficient, right? And they're easier to kind of um, get things done. So the bigger the guild, the harder to get things done inside the guild because there's a lot more people that you have to collaborate with to get things done so that's something that you also have to think about so you might want to join other guilds um, like for example down here a guild that has for example five lands and then it's a cheaper price there's less people and it feels more like a tight-knit community now as a time of this video you can see that the only role that you can give people at the beginning when they buy a membership is a supporter role that is the only role that you can get right now that is why i know things are going to change in the future so in the future when people buy your membership you can actually tell them like okay you are going to be an officer you're going to be a farmer in the guild you're going to be like different roles within the guild right so it doesn't necessarily mean that if you buy a shard you're part of the guild if you buy one of my shards you still have to join my discord i still have to vet that you're somebody that is worthy of being part of the guild and you're somebody that is worthy of being ranked up to another role that has more things to do within the guild so as of right now everybody is a supporter role and i cannot change it so that's one of the main pain points right now with the guilds that really you can't really manage the guild yet you can't really give people different roles you can give people different stuff to do within the guild all right so let's talk about lands how those lands play into guilds so let's go to one of my lands right here i have six lands um the other lands that are part of the guild are people pledging those lands to the guild and people can change guilds at any moment so it might be 57 lands right now and then maybe tomorrow people might you know make their own guild or may they might shift to another guild it could happen things happen like this that's how it works that is part of the game so i have personally six lands and of course they're pledged to the juice team so let's see how this lands actually benefit the guild and how you benefit as a guild member if you are accepted to actually farm in our lands so that is going to be one of the big big parts of this equation so let's go to my land right here and let's go to i don't know maybe 46 24 i have dedicated this land only for guild members so this is one of the benefits of being part of a guild now not every guild is doing this right now um in the future it will be more like this right now not all lands are dedicated to guilds um most of the lands are open even my personal lands are actually open to everybody right now because there is really no point in making lands exclusive to guilds yet but you can still pledge and not make it exclusive so let's actually take a look at that so if i go to my land right here and i click on this i go to settings you can see right here that i can actually pledge or associate my land to a guild so i pledge to the juice so this is my guild you can pledge your land to the juice and i decided that this land is only available to the people that have the shard membership so if you bought a shard membership you can come to this land and you can actually farm in this land so this is going to come into play very, very handy in the future as of right now anybody can basically farm um, in this plot of land right anybody multiple people at the same time but in the future only one person at a time will be able to actually farm in this plots so if i use this plots right here boom 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 to farm nobody else will be able to use this uh, plots to farm so what does that mean that means that this is going to become scarce it's going to become scarce so you're gonna have to join a guild to be able to plant more to be able to farm more so that is part of why you should want to join a guild but the problem is right now that i cannot choose what type of guild members right can actually farm so right now anybody that has a shard can actually come farm so that creates a problem why does it create a problem i can actually buy a shard for another guild right and i can just join their land sabotage farm on their land 
and then basically sabotage their operation. So that is why that is why we need a little bit more levels of who can actually join the lands within the guild. So I would like to see right here, maybe okay, guild members can join the land, right? That's the that that would be the criteria number one. The criteria number two would be like who can join. Well, maybe uh, farmers can join, officers can join right um and leaders can join right anybody that is supporter can i join right um like we have it right now right so we need more parameters we need more criteria to be able to manage the guild better right all right so let's jump into how to create a guild and how to buy a guild you're going to need pixels inside the game to be able to buy and create a guild so we're gonna go ahead and do that so we're gonna go ahead and teach you how to deposit pixels inside your account so you're gonna head over or to your dashboard of course you're gonna head over to the left side right here you're gonna go to exchange and you're going to deposit right here pixels in game so you're gonna connect your running wallet and i do have a video on running wallets how to create a running wallet so if you don't know how to create a running wallet there is a video down below and it should pop up on the top right of this video so as you can see in my wallet i have 75 pixels i have 75 pixels so i'm gonna go ahead and deposit those pixels i can go max right here and i can say hey you know what i want to deposit this 75 pixels i'm gonna go ahead and submit that transaction accept the transaction once i accept the transactions you can see the transactions right here the completed the withdrawals so you can see right here the amount of pixels that you have deposited or withdrawn from your account so perfect that is how it works once you have your pixels inside you are going to see your pixels up here or inside the game and then you're going to go to guilds and you're going to see i already have created a guild but it's going to be very very simple you're going to see right here create a guild boom create guild you can put guild handle so let's say um let's call it um i don't know um tutorial tuto tutorial guild the tutorial guild um, the twitter handle tutorial tutorial twitter handle boom the name and the handle is very important so if people are pledging lands they will use the handle on the settings of the lands like i showed you at the beginning and you put the description right here of the guild, boom, 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 boom. And if you want, you can lock it down to whitelist so that not a lot of people can buy the shards unless you give them permission. So if you require whitelist to purchase, that means that you have to give one by one people permission to join your guild and buy a shard. Even to buy membership, you're giving them permission. If you just want people to speculate on your guild and you want people to just go crazy buying stuff right here, boom, you can go ahead and do that. This is going to cost you 15 pixels, 15 pixels to create a guild. 15 pixels to create a guild. You do not need a land to create a guild. You can actually create a guild with a group of people, right, without a land. So you can, you know, you can do that if you wanted to. But lands are a big part of guilds. So that's something that you should probably consider if you're going to create a guild. So you're going to need 15 pixels and you're also going to need nine, uh, 1,950 trust score. So trust score, you get it by completing different quests completing different tasks in the game. So that's something that you can do. Um, and I do have a trust scored video on that as well. So if you guys want to increase your trust scored, uh, make sure you guys uh, complete some of the quests um, and even buying VIP. If you buy VIP, you get trust score right away. Um, actually, there's a new quest right now, guild quest that gives you 300 uh, points as well, trust score. So that's something that you should probably do right now. So make sure you check that out as well. Um, I do have a video on that as well. Now, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I encourage you guys to join our guild. There's a lot of things that we still don't know. There's a lot of things that we still don't know. So make sure you guys join our Discord. We will probably split our the Juice Team guild into two or even three in the future. It really just depends on how guilds actually turn out to be. So we still don't have the full picture of how guilds are going to be. How much management do you have in the guilds? Um, uh, I don't even know if all this 57 uh, lands are going to stay with the Juice team. Um, there's a lot of lands here. 
Um, uh, some people might create their own guild. Some people might move to another guild. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how many people are going to stay with us. I know uh, I know we're going to have quite a few lands. So it's still going to be a nice guild to be a part of. And of course, I'm always creating content. I'm always live. So that is actually an extra value into the guild. The fact that we have presence online as well. So make sure you guys join our Discord. I'm going to leave the link down below. Make sure you guys like. Make sure you guys comment. And make sure you guys subscribe to the number one Web3 gaming channel in the world. And I'll see you guys live every single day. 8 p.m. UTC. Peace.